If you want a good time, if you want a good time, let me hear you say, hey, everybody say, hey. If you want a good time, if you want a good time, let me hear you say, hey, everybody say, hey. If you want a good time, if you want a good time, let me hear you say, hey, everybody say, hey. If you want a good time, if you want a good time, give up, give up, give up, give up, give up, give up. morning everybody it is wednesday april the 10th and it is cpi day are you ready because we're going to get some movement today it is 5 34 in the morning and futures have been dead flat we're going to go over this in a little bit but showing you the week to date s p futures and <laughs> We are flat as we were last night before that little bit of movement coming off of the bullshit news that came out just prior to the open about a fractional little 0.01 difference in the overnight lending rate. And ba ba boom, exactly what, like I said, put a gun to my head. We are testing 5175, 5150 being the minus 1% day, and being that it was Taco Tuesday, uh, 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 like we shared, Taco Tuesdays love to give up that minus 1% day. Unfortunately, yesterday, we missed it. We missed it. 51.50, and Roberto, dude, you absolutely fucking nailed taking that on. We only got to 5160.78 as I shared with you in the room right around the time that we peaked. Take these trades off. Those 5150 puts went to 1041. 3900% in an hour and 15 minutes. The 5200s that da, 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 SPX scalper jumped on at the beginning of the day, $2.50, $41. Now, it's a big difference because she was a lot closer to the money. However, being a lot closer to the money, she was taking a lot less risk because as I shared with you, we are going into the 52 below 5,200 every single day. So knowing that you were going to get a dip below 5,200 was about as easy as knowing that Spreading peanut butter on your butt cheeks and asking a dog to lick it is probably not the best idea because he will lick it. Come closer. What is the sound of one hand clapping? I, I don't know. What is the sound of one oh. So now that you have puked your coffee and I have your full attention, it is cpi day and everything that i have prepared you for going into today as you go through your emails last week over the weekend yesterday they mean absolutely nothing because the cpi report is the one that is going to make the decision and like i shared with you already on what prior cpa cpi days are producing february 13th absolute puke off march 12th absolute bullet train so today everybody's expecting looking at the futures again here are your futures we are just coming on to the overnight lows which have been only trading below between the 10 day and the 20 day moving average with the five day moving average well 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 below this the nasdaq futures are a little bit more Eh, just because they're a little bit more eh. Uh, right at the 20 day moving average with the 10 day moving average below and the five day moving average below that with the 50 day still untouched. Nice tip yesterday. Congratulations on all of you who took those April 12th 440 puts and you were able to get over 100% during the day. And for those of you who got back into it at the end of the day, the YM futures, Dow futures, not calling them trannies because it's 2024 and you're not allowed to do that. 
nowhere all week nowhere boop, boop, boom tuesday taco tuesday dip do, do, do. absolutely nowhere we have gone nowhere all week monday tuesday nowhere and here we are well below the 20 day 10 day and just hovering above the five day having now breaking the 50 day moving average quite consistently going back to last week I'll bring you on to Tesla after we go through the SPX. So on the SPX, again, looking at a wide view of 15 days. Still have that gap from last week, Friday, 5157, 5147. We haven't filled it yet. And then we have that bigger gap below from way back in the middle of March, which I believe was right around CPI. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I believe it was right around CPI. Uh, 5131 or 5132, call it and 51.17.50. This would be taking out the first time taking out a half decent low. We still have plenty of lows to be taken out to start proving that we actually have something going on. But until we do that, like I've shared before, we have to assume the position. And that assumed position is that we still have the chance the chance of going up into the 5300s right around 5335. The chance is still there. CPI will provide you with that chance. Looking on the NASDAQ, on the QQQ, still 30 days looking at here and greater than 30 days, nowhere, absolutely nowhere, failing above 444, supporting below 438. Haven't been touching down to that 435, but we have been failing just below that 440, touching onto this 438 and saying, okay, we've had enough. It's time to go back. And there you go, back up here in the 442s as we are ahead of the open. IWM, once again, the little canary in the coal mine that everybody's kind of waiting for is get down below this 203.69 and close below 203.69. Start pressuring onto that 199.40, and then you might actually have yourself a little bit of an indicator saying, hey, guess what? You actually do have something going. And if we were to go over here and do a little drawing and to see, and oh my God, look at that. If we are to get a proper correction, a proper ABC, we should at least be heading down to around 200. So again, IWM is the little canary in the coal mine, which brings you back to the VIX. And once again there, 1041 in the morning, you had your VIX 1622. And we go over here into where we are on looking uh, da, 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 da. Yes, your QQQ puts were at 220 in the morning. They went up over 100%. Do, do, do. VIX 1622 is here, 1040 in the morning. We got the gap. We're on the fat one. Do, 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 do. And that is your warning, your 1622, because getting up above that and staying up above that, you need a hell of a lot more than Taco Tuesday dip to be the reason why you break above 1622. So you've got your CPI coming out later today at 8.30 in the morning in about three hours. I know none of you are awake. This is your 50-day moving average, which I will remove. And here we are. We have been resisting the 10-day moving average. We broke above the 20-day moving average in the end of the day, the five-day moving average as well that we resisted on the little bounce early in the morning, which gave us the chance to start thinking we might actually get that 5150. And looking at this in a one-minute view, it did look very promising as we were going in there to 3 o'clock, 3.30. And then all of a sudden they said, hang on, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just wait one second. It's CPI tomorrow. And if we close red today on Tuesday, yesterday, that would be two red closes in a row. Hang on. We can't do that. And we need to close up above 5,200 because, God forbid, we only have one, one minus 5,200 close, only one. We got to leave that left open for CPI because, for fuck's sake, inflation isn't over. And that's why the Fed has been hawkish. 
the last few times that you've heard them talking. This is why you have seen all of your utilities, everything gold is all starting to make its move saying CPI is fucked. And that's the reason why I shared with you over there in the room. I haven't posted it yet, but I will. You want to be looking at the 5185, 5180s for CPI tomorrow to borrow. Uh, to, tomorrow was what was supposed to be. Typing that at 345 in the morning. Apologize for the spelling. Check out the 5185, 5180s for CPI tomorrow if you want to have risk overnight. They are right now at $4. $4. So see you guys in the chat room and get ready for CPI because it's going to be a whopper.